my daddy's shoes. They were so obviously his, the leather model to his instep, the frayed stitching across his long big toe. He had walked so many miles over field clods and barnyard droppings. The shoes were a weather report, muddy in inclement weather, dusty in summer dry spells. You would find them resting on the back steps while he napped on the daybed in the kitchen, or waiting on the porch at night while he read the farm journals. In daylight, these shoes stepped up to drive the new red tractor or the combine no one else could afford to buy. They bore his weight as he squatted beside a neighbor's truck, discussing crops, rainfall, markets, what fool had overplanted watermelons. And these same shoes could carry a man with mouth clamped tight, holding back temper and speech until it all came out so loud a child could shake till midnight. But there were times when Daddy sat on the back steps, shoes untied, ankles and knees turned outward, relaxing. These were holidays, or the day the crops were laid by. There was peach ice cream for the field hands, and Daddy would smoke and laugh and sometimes wink at me. From time to time, I see shoes that could be his but I see no other man who ever walked like he did.